Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Perpetual Testing. Today we're going to be having a playoff. This chamber oh, hello. represents the impossibility of discovery when bound by artificial ethical considerations for safety. You'll see what I mean. It means, don't fear the Reaper, you're going to kill me in the name of science. Yeah, we're used to that, GLaDOS. Uh, anyway, if it was listed up there, this map is Juxtapose. And this was hammerized and recommended by Mystical Ace, with the original puzzle being by Gigo Player and Mache. So a very, very big thank you to the three of them. It features tubes that give us cubes, placing those cubes places, not drinking the water, drowning in said water, reflecting lasers, reflecting those lasers somewhere, reflecting those lasers and pointing them through portals, standing on buttons and riding conveyance beams and probably a whole lot more. Uh, this is of course Mr. Clay's map and as you can see it is already pretty bloody stunning because well they always are now. Mr. Clay's is very very good at hammer and we can all accept that at this point. Um, this is actually by the same three people who did a map we played not long ago called Reciprocal which was a very long video in the end because it took me about 20 minutes to realize I could simply place a cube the convenient side of a fizzler. Hopefully that won't happen this time. Uh, we've got plenty of that deadly deadly goo down there. We've got a button mounted on the wall here pointing directly at our exit straight there opposite where we walked in. But there is glass in the way to, you know, instill science. Uh, what are these? We've got some... Is that the trim off the portal buttons? Is that broken off? <laughs> that is actually broken off. Okay, there's a nice detail. Yeah, they've got some bits of trim off of the portal buttons, although now I'm picturing what GLaDOS would look like with big silly eyebrows. Um, they fizzleable. They are. Let's clean those up. Uh, that means we also notice that there's like a trench here. This trench leads directly out this way to the goo, where it also lines up with a refraction cube being repetitively dropped into the goo. Laser receptor over there, whole bunch of science back there, including panels, buttons, and a conveyance beam. Uh, lots of deadly, deadly goo everywhere. I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those... I don't know what uh, people who actually make maps refer to this design as, but I think of them as a bloody great big thing in the way type map. I feel like we're going to be having to work around this bit of glass. It seems very much prominent. Uh, in here, we've got lots of little detail of the construction. What is this style? Is this like aperture still under construction or raw chambers where they haven't quite been fully finished and panelled out yet? It does look very nice. Uh, it did say in the description, which by the way you should definitely go read, uh, it did say in the description that there is no secret in this one. There's no secret backstage area. But there is something of a reward for when we finally solve it. So let's look out for that. Uh, exit is that direction. Is that panels? That is panels up there. So we can go have a look at what is actually this side of the glass. This side of the glass is our exits. Single panel facing backwards here. Uh, panel up there too. And not a whole lot else. Yeah, I really like this sort of open everything environment. In fact, anyway, is that where we came in? No, we came in over there. Okay, we can actually see where we're going to be working our way towards getting out of here. There's another very much open, unfinished elevator shaft over there. And more access to the deadly, deadly goo. Uh, we should get over there, because there's clearly more stuff to do over there. We can use you and you. That gets us over to this side, where we've got this button. Oh, thank you. Very convenient of you to turn the lights on. We've got this button, who is also missing a piece. How did that piece get over there? Okay, uh, this turns... what on? What does that do? Ah, that actually puts a big laser all the way over there to that panel. Probably needed for you. Well, you'd line straight up with that, right? Because we can hit you from here and there. That has turned off the fizzler behind me. Uh, okay, so we want that cube to hold that open for a start. Uh, in here, we can't go past this, can we? That's right on the edge. No, okay, but in there is a bunch of panels, including... Yeah, you. You look very important because you're lined up in the middle. You line up with everything. Yeah, okay, so conveyance beam out of there. Since that button is on the wall, we're going to have to stick a button to the wall. And that'll open our exit up for us. So, uh, get the cube, right? That's probably a pretty good place to start with. That laser's also going to have to do some reflecting since we actually have the reflection cube to work with. How can I get you, then? Uh, well, if we... Wait, you line up... You line up in the middle with that, right? So we can at least get a cube over that way. And then how do we get the cube back? We can't use... 
those because there's a fizzler there. Uh, we could do it from up there. That's too high. Can't send you through. Let's just try it. Uh, we want that cube. It's always a good place to start the cube. So that gets rid of the fizzler. If we grab... Hold on. If we grab orange, that fizzles back on. That pushes a cube that way. And that's just going to drop a cube in the goo as soon as I step off, right? No, it's going to keep it pinned there. Uh, whilst you're pinned there, can I do anything with you? No, that's definitely too high up there. That doesn't line up with anything that I can see. Is there a way to reverse this conveyance beam? Am I missing extra buttons somewhere? You just link up to... No, you don't link up to this. No, you link up to that. That's how we opened you before. Ooh, there's an interesting gap. Can I get in here? Can I do anything? I know it said there's no secret areas, but in hammer maps, I, I always like to look in the gaps. I just do. Uh, got one this side as well. No. But I've seen you've got mesh, and this is that mesh you can actually work through. Uh, you mesh I can work through. Yeah. You're also mesh I can work through. And you line up with panels as well. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to be like working our way around that middle bit. The map is called Juxtapose, which uh, from my years and years and years of failed art school training, I do know that Juxtapose means... Well, it can mean many things, but I go generally go with meaning contrasting contradiction. So something that side contradicts something this side and then is re-replicated in contradictory terms this side. And I would usually stretch that out to about 20 minutes and that's how I'd pass any sort of oral exam you had to do at art school. Um, yeah. So juxtapose. We've got to do something one side to counteract something the other side. Or at least make you think of what works the other side. Uh, okay, how do we do that then? Really, I need to get you off the wall. That feels like a really good place to start. Is there... That's still the fizzler through there. We do have angular access through there, though. So, wait, how do I get this off the wall? It's just stuck there now until I, like, do anything. And then you're gonna start dropping them again? Okay, you are automatic. That's probably important. But at some point, conveyance beam out of there. Presses that button, we can get out of here. But probably nowhere near quite that simple. Uh, can I, like get this out of my way for a moment. You go up there, thank you. Uh, we can go back over that side using you. Gets us up to this top level bit. I think this top level bit is going to be used for going around quite a lot. So how do I get that? Well, the only panels facing the opposite way are this way, right? Only these ones. So conveyance beam out of here. Which means I have to be over there, get the fizzler off, get the conveyance beam, but have it come out of here. Which means we need to get over there from over here. So we're going to have to leave a portal here. Uh, let's do you and you. Can I leave you here somehow and get there myself? There's no angle, is there? No, because anything I do is going to... But then I'm stuck down here. Oh, could we do it back from that side? Okay, let's try that then. Uh, let's leave the orange. I definitely can't see around the corner, can I? No, there's glass in the way there. Yeah, everything's blocked. Okay, so leave the orange. Does it matter? We just need to get over to the other side for the moment. Let's go back over to you and leave you up there. No, that's stupid because I'm not there. Let's go orange there, then we can get this side. Then from this side we can put the orange up there. Got the blue... Yeah, okay, that way we can jump back down the other side. I'm getting the feeling that this might be quite a bit like reciprocal in the what access you have to what from what side. Uh, so then if I was to... Wait, I'm going to have to move everything to get rid of the fizzler though. but it probably doesn't matter at this point. Uh, let's move the orange to here. That gets uh, us back to this side with an orange there. But the cube's going to have to be there. I need that... Wait. How do I get the cube anywhere useful to do that from, then? Uh, why... How do I get 
that then. So, let's stand on you. We get the laser again. I can have the laser come through here with you. It does go all the way through and it goes to those back there. So I need the cube first though, right? Before I do anything else, we're going to have to get the cube here. But we definitely need... How do you push the cube this way if the cube's only ever going to end up this way? Those are far too high. Uh, is there definitely nothing that reverses? Do you... I never actually pressed you, did I? Let's uh, go press that. Does that happen to reverse this conveyance beam? If I jam my face against you, you do that. No, that doesn't reverse that. It does the exit. That's all you appear to do at the moment. Okay, that uh, confuses me then. How do I get the cube? We've got to push the cube here first. So we need that open conveyance beam. Me not on the button. Conveyance beam cube comes to here. So we've got to open it up the exit before we can even do anything with it. Yeah, okay, fine. That's... Uh, not going to complicate matters at all. Let's do you up there and you there again. Let's do you and back over where we were. There's going to be a lot of crossing back and forth on this one. So, conveyance beam out of here. That means we need... Oh, we need the laser first, which means we need you and you. That's why you're mesh, so that I can hit you from here. Then, I'm going to have to... Well, if I put the orange on you... No. Wait. Yes. That's only going to stay open as long as I have myself on here, right? So, let's put the orange... Orange? Let's put the orange up there. That comes back on. But now I can't get the conveyance beam to come out of there because it's not coming out of there. So, if I did you, we're going to have the exact same problem. Well, why don't I go over there. Will that do anything? How do I get back? Let's do that and that. We can actually go to this side and we can have a peek through here just because. Wait, what was that? Did I just see? Okay, never mind. For some reason I pictured a very large birdhouse. Uh, so we can get in here and we can conveyance beam. Oh, well that'll just do it, right? If we do orange there even though I'm nowhere near using it right now, that will at least get over to that side of the room and open the exit that we're nowhere near. But if I go over there, turn the portals off, this isn't going to drop me, is it? Please don't drop me. Uh, if I go over here and turn that off, we just get a cube. Okay, that gets us a cube. Right, uh, with the cube there, let's go back over to you and to you. Then we're going to have to do the thing we did before, but I want that cube somewhere where I can actually use it. Because you're going to have to come all the way back over to that side, so does it matter? And do conveyance beams go through that mesh? Although that mesh appears to be pretty much blocked off there, so probably doesn't matter? Well, lasers go through those, so maybe it will go through them. Or is that to stop the cube when it gets that side? Uh, let's leave you somewhere pretty much like, I don't know, there will probably do. That will line up with panels in there. So we're going to have to do the thing we did with you there. But it doesn't matter at the moment because we're going to have to come back anyway. That one up there. Then we do... I'm going to put the blue here. The orange there. Remember that's not important right now because we're actually going to go over here first. Uh, so the blues, that side... Then if we put the orange, yeah, put the orange up there, that gives us back up there. Then we got to go back around, reposition, reposition the orange behind you, and that still lets me get back here. So that's why we come up here, uh, back down to you, line up with you. And then orange there. And then work out how to get the conveyance beam to push that cube this way. So to push that cube this way, we need the conveyance beam again. To get the conveyance beam again, we need the everything else. 
Ha. Huh. We literally need everything else to pull that off, don't we? How do I get you open now? Because I have to move everything and then I can't get to... Oh, hold on. That's why you're open that side. Okay, yeah, uh, right. Uh, let's go... But that means I'm going to do all like the portal set up again. But we need to... Just notice we are in fact shell in this one. Cool. Uh, so forget the portals because they turn off now anyway. Let's take you... Yeah, you're open there so that I can do this, right? Like there, and then that means you line up with that particular panel there, which should... Should... Un yeah, okay, we've got to set up all the portals again. Uh, line up with you here. And blue, although it doesn't really matter where I place that at the moment because I've forgotten again they're going to have to come back and forth. Uh, so then let's put the blue there forget about that panel because we don't need it right now but we do momentarily uh, orange there blue there that gets us back to this side again where we put the blue back up there leave the orange here that's how we can line up the laser because we should be able to it's always going to come through to that one no, don't fall off. Which one was it? It's uh, number three, right? Like you. Yeah. And I've still got the blue. No, because I'm I'm an idiot. Okay, uh, ignore that. Let's do this again. Because I've moved the wrong portals. I have to do that once per video out of tradition. Let's go back over to you. Then from this side, put anything up there, put the orange there. Yeah? Yeah. Put the orange here, then we go back up onto this raised bit. Laser into your third one, right? That should line up. Then... Did I... I did it! <sighs> I did it again, didn't I? Because we have to be able to go back. Yeah, okay. Pay attention. Let's do you and you. Cross back to this side, we put blue up there. We leave orange here. And we do not move orange this time. This time we put the blue there. Should be lined up with you, and orange is over there. And I'm an idiot for doing that three times without realizing. So back over to this side then. Which means the blue is there. So we need the laser, which means we stand on you. So, if I get the right portals this time, you do that. Perfectly lined up on the first try. Uh, oh, I've completely forgotten what the next step we need. We need the cube. We need the cube pushed over here. Which we can do with you now. So, blue is there. So, orange gets us conveyance power. Should push a cube over here. Nope. Oh, fuck. Okay, at least for a moment there, I thought I was about to turn that off by getting off. Okay, uh, you... Although they do go through those. Yeah, okay, conveyance beam does go all the way through. So does that mean we need to get the cube further back at some point? Uh, for the moment, let's just stick you on the button, since that appears to be what you need to do. Usually need a cube upon a button. That gets us permanent lasers. With permanent lasers, we can have permanently open Fizzler by doing that one and that one. So, I've got to be there, but the cube's got to be pushed up against the wall there, and permanently pushed up against the wall there. So I've got to be there, but the cube's got to be there. This is what I mean when I think of these type of puzzles as a, there's a bloody great big bit of something in the way. They probably have a much more elegant term, you know, amongst people who actually make and design puzzles. But to me, it's a bloody great big thing in the way type puzzle. Uh, so... You line up out there. Like, if you were here, you could totally hit that, right? So if you were there, and that's permanently open. So if I switched orange to you, that's still doing that. 
And I'm quite impressed that I've managed to line that up without really trying twice now. So, what good's that though? Because that'll go away as soon as I move any portals that locks everything up again. And we can't have the laser back in that side. So, in that case, uh, is that necessary? It feels necessary since it actually lines up quite nicely to let you do it. But what to do, and why are you blinking, and what to do with that? I'm going to have to push you along, so you're going to have to have conveyance beam go do you. But I also need to get over there, so conveyance beam go do me. But conveyance beam's going to have to go do me this side. Which is probably what you are for, with your very specific angles of panels back there. But then I've got to be able to do the cube as well. Ah, okay, that was a entirely intentional flesh test. The laser does in fact burn. We know that now. Uh, so, well, the fizzler's here, right? So, the fizzler could come back on and convey the cube like we did that side. Is that the juxtaposition? That doesn't seem contradictory. Or maybe the juxtaposition is the thinking it's going to be contradictory. Maybe it's got absolutely nothing to do with that whatsoever. So I need to get over there. I need to get that side. To get that side, I can convey myself. Can I convey myself here now? And then somehow get the cube there. Let's, uh... Ah, but if I move, like, anything, we're going to lose portal power. By portal power, I mean we're going to have the fizzler and everything come back up in the way. The portal gun will still probably work fine. Um, like, I could convey myself through this. I feel like that's what that's for, in fact. But, I should probably just try it. Then why are you here? You don't really line up with a clean access to that side, but being that side just blocks me anyway. I could drop out of there. That would get me back that side. But then we don't have conveyance beam. Unless I was already back there. But then again, we don't have conveyance beam. Uh, if I was to put myself... You know, it's quick save here. If I was to put myself back over that end, everything turns off. I could convey the cube and myself in that direction. And then across and then I'd be pinned to the wall over there but then we don't have these because the fizzler's in the way so not that and I've probably just screwed everything up now haven't I although we can still get back relatively easy actually let's do it does it no okay it doesn't really matter what I move now because everything goes through the fizzler and that means all the portals get turned off so let's put uh, orange up on you and blue up on you so that would... You know, everything turns off. But if that was going, that would get me over that side. So how do I get me over that side? And how do I put everything back that I had like five seconds ago? Um, you... And you... Does that... And then it was orange on you, right? And you're still lined up to do that? Yes. Okay, so let's uh, quick save again here. Even though that's exactly where we quick saved just a minute ago. Um, so I've got to push myself over there, but I need everything. So how do I push myself over there? Well, we could just drop in here. The fact the laser burns kind of suggests that we probably don't want to be doing that. So that gets the laser there, but if I had the laser out of there again... We can hit both of those from up there, can't we? Let's do you and you. Let's do you and... That's not going to work because the cube isn't anywhere where I thought it would be anymore. Is there... No, it's directly in the middle now, isn't it? And nothing lines up with directly in the middle anymore.
Is there an angle back here? No, that looks very, very intentionally blocked off from any angle diagonally across that way. So, no, not that. Um, I don't want to turn those portals off for the moment. Let's get back up there. Yeah, new burn, which means we probably shouldn't be trying to cross through you with a laser at the same time. Let's go back to you. With you. And set up what we had a moment ago, because it's the closest thing to any sort of progress that I can do at the moment. You and you. Opens this up again, gives us that one again, does that again. We've got a bunch of panels there. So what if I left the orange, like, there? Still gets us... Ah. Oh, but actually maybe not ah, because I myself weigh as much as a cube. Probably quite a lot more, actually, thinking of Shell's massive waistline. Yeah, but you could do that, right? So where even is that? Uh, that is there to here, through to there. So you sit, like, here and there? Is that lined up? That looks like it's lined up, but then why can I also do that over here? I mean, you could probably do it from over here as well, right? We've got to get that cube over there as well. So if you're there, even if I get over there, how do I get the cube there? Let's um, stand on you again. You should be lined up to do... Nope, can't aim for shit. You should be lined up if I adjust you ever so slightly to... There? That looks like it's lined up with the ant lines. Are you going to hit that for me now? Nope, because I can't aim for shit. Let's adjust you ever so slightly back the other way. About that much, maybe? And stand on you. Yeah, okay, that's actually nowhere near it, but I'm going to take that. That gives us that and that, which means we could do blue. Blue there now. Why, why are you no conveyance beaming? You should be conveyance beaming. That that really should work, right? Hello? Conveyance beam? Uh, let's try and fix that then. Uh, so if I go back on you, we can't now. But we could do... Uh, what's everywhere? Blue up on you again. Laser comes through there. That doesn't technically touch, but we're going to accept that it is. So what do I just need to line you up like way, way better? That's got a conveyance beam through. That pins you against the wall. Uh, let's quick save at that point. If we got you pinned against the wall, I could ride over there, but then how do I get the cube? Well, you could actually come back, couldn't you? Like, there. Sit on... What does that give me anywhere else? Does that do anything else anywhere useful? It gives us the laser again. Do we need the laser anymore? That conveyance beam has clearly got to go on that one standout panel. And that's going to do the button. Let's see what we can get to from over here. Uh, from over here... What can I do over here? I mean, we get here, but we don't get anything good. Because I can't put the laser back to open that up. I could have the laser come through if we went blue on you. And the laser comes straight through. So with the cube here, we could hit that button there. Why do I want to hit that? Well, we need to hit that button because we've got to get that fizzler out of the way. So with the fizzler... I could go reposition you, couldn't I? Yeah, we could go back there again. Let's go uh, blue on you. Let's go line up with the middle, which is you. And you stand out for a very clear purpose. Uh, that gets me back to... Where am I? Where I am is an absolute fucking idiot because... Uh, yeah, that. Um, let's, uh, let's correct that again then. So let's put blue on you. How 
Can I not remember which button I pressed literal seconds ago? I do that every bloody video. It's always the wrong portal in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's just like, I cannot get past that fault of mine playing this game. I don't know how to train my brain to not do that mistake. Uh, what was I doing? That's the other part that I struggle with is remembering what I was doing. Um, I need to have it so I'm doing everything back there again, which means I need you over here again. You do this again, which was like any panel back there. And then there. That looks pretty much lined up to me. So then you to you to you opens that up. Then we put the orange on you. Mrs. Can I have you like over a millimeter? No, I can't because that's how that works. Put you back there and then you there or do I have to move the cube? We've got to move the cube because that wasn't going anywhere near. Let's try that again actually. Let's do you and you and then is it like that one? Is it that one? That's actually why I'm realizing now that you're a mesh is because I'm gonna to have to stand here a hell of a lot and try and learn how to aim that one. Oh come on you could totally give me that. You accepted it when it was like five inches over that way, but you don't like it when it's tickling the edge right there. Fair enough, that's portal. Uh, let's grab you and that tiny little auto pickup adjustment might be enough. Stand on you again, that works somehow, even though that's clearly going past. Uh, so then, what did I do next was... Conveyance beam shoves that against the wall, takes me over to the other side. Yeah, that pins to the wall, that stays on. We ride you over here. Uh, that means we've still got a portal back there. Very importantly, the orange. We're going to keep it that way. Uh, if we put the blue there, get in here, and this time we move the orange and not make that mistake again to you. Still lets me get back, right? Still lets me get back to the side with the exit. Which is the point where I realise that's probably not much help because uh, I can't get the laser on now. So we'd have to have... I've got to reposition that cube onto the button first. I did that last time, didn't I? And have completely forgotten that. So, yeah, go get the cube in the right place. Which means doing all of this part again. So you to, let's call it there. Try and work with that. And then you to convey me to this side again. Wait, that's going to turn the portal off. Oh, let's, 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 uh, uh, let's put it back from this side then. So you were like here. Probably shouldn't have picked you up and walked so far away. Let's put you there. I mean, that looks good to me, but God knows at this point. So that and that. Then uh, that. And uh, that. And then moving the orange to, I'd like to say, you. Still good? That is still good. Okay, so. Next is conveyance beam to put that against the wall. So blue now pins that against the wall. But that stays on. And this time, before I ride over there. You come over here and you sit on this. With you sat upon that, we should have... Oh, hold on. Do I need you to be, like, lined up again? Let's, uh, line you up just in case we do actually need you to be lined up. Which I would say is there. I'm trying to use it as a crosshair. Uh, so then I ride across. Let's quick save here before I fuck this up again. Let's, uh, ride, ride across now. Or laser. No, it has to be right across first, otherwise we can't do anything else. So I ride across to by the exit door. From by the exit we we get to the point where I hadn't gotten past before, so I'm not entirely sure. Now let's uh, quick save here as well. Just to make abuse of that feature. So can't move the orange. But if I move the blue so, if I move the orange to that one, with the blue on you... We've still got a laser, right? Yeah, we've still got a laser. So, if we now go in here and... 
move the orange, only move the orange, to... You're not going to convey anything or move anything, no? Let's put the orange on you. That should line up. That should still let me get over here. We still have laser technology. Yeah, okay, no, that'll work, right? So now we could do um, the blue up on you since you're on. That does that. Managed to line that up perfectly. Very, very nice. So now if I go ahead and stick blue up there, in fact, let's quick save and abuse that one more time. If I stick the blue on you, that should push the cube off of the... Yes, the right side of the fizzler. So that should push the cube off of the button, down this little entrenchment type design here, press the button, and open the exit, and we can find out what our wonderful little reward will be. Um, blue on you then, right? Blue on you. Blue, blue, blue on you. Yeah? Okay. So far so good. We've got a little saving icon in the corner. That wasn't me quick saving, that was the game rewarding me with a save, in case I manage to fuck up the next bit somehow, which makes the reward slightly daunting. Perfect. The door is malfunctioning. Oh fuck, it really has. Going to have to that too. <laughs> yeah, um... Don't get up. That's... that's I'll beautiful. Right Don't I really, really like that detail. Okay, uh, so... Hold on. Uh-huh. Hold on. Hold on I for... this one Smash. It's an oh. early work of primitive expression. Oh. I'm a little embarrassed at how crude it is. I like Still, it. It will smash you. I mean, any time those don't hit me is a bonus, really, all that's coming down. Dude. And that's put the convince beam on as well. Okay, um, we got another little saving icon. Yeah, that was a lovely, lovely bit of, bit of destruction. I've said it before, if you're going to make stuff crash and smash and fall about in your maps, just having that little extra bit of detail, that little extra bit of debris, just linger slightly longer before falling is a beautiful touch. I mean, it's it's Wily Coyote hanging in midair. Uh, what has that actually benefited me in any way for, GLaDOS? So you're still pinning that down there. Uh, that Fizzler's off now. So... What can I do with that? I mean, you smash this wall out the way. There's our exit. I mean, we could have that. That is way too big a jump. And I'm pretty sure that will kill me upon contact just because those spike panels are an absolute bitch. I mean, you only have to look at them wrong and they kill you. So I need to get in that somehow, right? Just going to acknowledge this again and give you all a moment to acknowledge what a wonderful little detail that is. I might have to rip that off for the thumbnail, so uh, sorry, Mr. Clays. What can I do with you, then? Tempted to jump on that bit of pole there, but no. Uh, there's clearly something puzzle-wise that I haven't thought of. You. You go that way and then drop into it and hope I can replace it in time. So, you're going to stay open, yes? If I move, like, everything? Yeah, okay, so that should let us get up to here. If you let me get up to here, then I need the conveyance beam. Are you going to let me put a portal through there? You do? Oh, fuck. Uh, I wasn't quite prepared. Um, okay. Uh, right. Um, shimmy around you? Just, just let me shimmy? Yeah, okay, we can grind around. And then, fuck, what one was it? Orange? Yeah, just air strafe into there. And get off before the smashy plate. Get off before the smashy plate. Really? Fuck me. Okay, so that's why the game was very kind to save us right here. Along the right lines, but being more prepared and, um, yeah, not falling to one's death at the last possible moment. Let's uh, do all that again. So that's you and... You to get up there. You and you to take me up there. And we can actually hit that panel back. Fuck, I did it again. Did it again. Yeah, that's 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 not a good way to tackle that. Let's get back up there. Let's move you right over. Right over. Let's not stand where that's going to immediately grab me. Can I hit it from anywhere else though? No, I cannot. Okay. At least this time we'll be clear of uh, the bit of scaffolding. So, blue, is it back there? It's there. Yeah. And then we're going to quickly reposition the orange. Now. Catch me there. And are you going to kill me on contact? 
I mean, you might as well. I've embarrassed myself. Oh, gentle slowdown right before the impending spike death. Okay, uh, we can get onto you. Uh, then we can go through this very convenient opening in the bit of panel work. And does that actually get us to our exit? And this lovely big open exit. Is our elevator immediately delivered for us? Uh, yeah, okay. That was juxtaposed, hammerized by Mr. Ace with a very, very cool and original puzzle design by Gigo Player and Mache. So a very big thank you to Mr. Ace, a very big thank you to Gigo Player, and a very big thank you to Mache. That's very clever and looks very, very cool. And I like that ending. That was a nice little reward. Uh, so this is our actual exit. So if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, let's just have a little look around at a bit more detail first. Yeah, I really like this open aperture kind of look. This is aperture at its most raw, where everything was still probably being built by humans, right? At some point, GLaDOS took over, you know, after the whole incident that we don't talk about too much. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, especially if you've got something that looks really cool, is really clever and is weird or unique, the weirder, the more unique or the cooler, the better, please, then please recommend it to me via the usual means, as indicated by your bendy buddy up on the screen. And uh, until the next episode of Perpetual Test... Oh, wait. Just one more thing. Has anybody seen Greg lately? No? Does anybody read the descriptions on these Steam Workshop maps? And would anybody go and read this one if I said they should. Because uh, you really, really, really should. It's, it's very, very, very worth it. 